I don't get it. You bought a piece of land in Hollywood Hills for $150,000 and you have an $8 million lien. That it's not a loan. So what is it then? Like she just put the lender of $8 million and she is expecting me to refinance the $8 million to $9 million? Right? Yeah, that's definitely a red flag. Yeah, honestly, nobody wants to do these luxury <laughs> listings anymore. I don't want to fight on the value thing. It's not there yet. I'm not fighting. I'm just trying to kind of like make a point to see exactly how I can create the value. The reason why I ask him in the end of the call if he has other properties is because I'm already kind of like thinking that I may need to cross other properties if they really own properties, even though he said yes. After they say that, you go to the part with the paperwork and they're like, oh, by the way, I have 10 partners here, five partners there, this I just sold. structure the deal it's it's my mom's development project uh -huh. so she has this eight million dollar lien on the property the eight million dollar lien one million is her partners so it's her and her partner's deal they do together her partner builds it his name is on title she wants to take out nine million dollars and then the private lender which is basically satisfied the lien and then be on the first lien on the two properties and we're looking to repay that loan in six to eight months it's ground up development by the way it's not like we bought a property and fixed it up yeah i get it i get it so you bought it a few years ago for how much it's 150k for two pieces of land all in 150k and you owe eight million you said yeah who's the lender who gave you eight million dollars yeah that, that's the confusing part with the equity it's all equity it's my mom and her business partner's deal and this is built with a hundred percent cash the lien is her own lien on the property because she doesn't want to take title with the development so her partner takes title yeah that's definitely a red flag i don't get it you bought a piece of land in hollywood hills for one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and you have an eight million dollar lien that it's not a loan yeah i think the red flags first one is on raw land so what is it then like she just put the lender of eight million and she's expecting me to refinance the eight million to nine million right so she bought the two land for a hundred thousand they're complete projects now one is done we're getting the ceo the other one is about a month off and then we're going to get the ceo on that one four thousand in hollywood hills it's like around maybe 1100 maybe a thousand per square foot right now in the market today that's what it should be so you're saying the house is worth less than five million we've gotten offers at 6.2 and that was the lowest we've ever gotten look i don't want to fight on the value thing it's not there yet i'm not fighting i'm just trying to kind of like make a point to see exactly how I can create the value in order to make the loan and help you. You understand? That's why I'm asking uh, a lot of questions. You know, I'm trying to get information. That, that's what I do. I'm a hard yeah. money lender, you know, because I deal with a lot of people no, no, that no, no, sometimes no. they manipulate, you know, the debt, the value, everything. No, I understand. It's two projects, about $13 million in total value. We're looking to pull out $9 million, so it look like 70% LTV. Most lenders, they can only do up to 50% LTV. The value is $13 million. Usually, we can only give a loan of $6.5 million. You can't really get 70% LTV. 70%. Okay, so the question is 70% from what? Show me the houses. Text me the addresses of the properties with updated pictures because I'm sure I'm not going to be able to see them online right now. I'll just send you uh, like the addresses and I'll send you a Zillow link because uh -huh. uh, we previously had it listed. We just okay. took it off market because we hit some delays with the COO. So the buyer backed out. So today in the luxury markets like Beverly Hills, Bel Air, Brentwood, all of these luxury listings, a lot of lenders and investors decide to go uh, more conservative because it's not as easy to sell, especially now with the uh, California mentions tax. If you sell a property above 5 million, you're gonna pay five more percent in taxes. It's just a different game when it comes to luxury real estate. A, it's very hard to DSTR on those, so debt service those, because the rates are so high right now, you're not gonna cover it with your rent. There's limited solutions to situations like that. It's not an easy market for these uh, listings right now and you can build something amazing but holding it for a long time on the market until you actually sell it we still have the buyer he's ready to go he wants to 
buy it. We just have to have the CEO out first. Do you guys own yeah. any so, other properties? Yeah, of course. We're, we're developers. So the reason we're taking out the equity is we're, we're moving on to a second project. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Send me the addresses. Let me take a look at them and uh, let's go from there. All right. Sounds good. I'll all send right. them to Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye. Good luck. First of all, I was suspecting like I always do because I always suspect with people that call me asking for a loan and then the numbers don't make sense. Everything they talking about don't make sense. What I'm trying to do is create the picture, draw the picture in my mind of this property that has equity in it, that could be protection for the asset and for the money that the, my investors invest. The reason why I ask him in the end of the call if he has uh, other properties is because I'm already kind of like thinking that I may need to cross other properties if they really own properties, even though he said yes, Yes, I'm not sure if he really has properties. You know, sometimes they just say yes to seem strong, to sound strong, you know, on the phone, like, yeah, we're financially stable, but it happened to me many, many times that after they say that, you go to the park with the paperwork and they're like, oh, by the way, I have 10 partners here, five partners there, this I just sold. So it may be another story like that, but if it's not, then I will need to cross the property because 4,000 square feet in Hollywood Hills, right now in the market today, when the interest rates are around seven, 8%. Yeah, honestly, no. Nobody wants to, to, to do these luxury <laughs> listings anymore. <laughs> it's a lot of risk. Your buyer is not an average Joe. It's someone specific. There's a lot of challenges in, in the luxury markets. After COVID, these uh, asset types got hit. So they're not as popular as they used to be. I don't think it's going to be able to get the same action from people on that are looking on the MLS for properties as six months ago. That's why I'm really, really questioning the value. We'll see what's going to happen and we're going to have to rust things up in this rain. Rust it up.